Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Leah B and I'm going to be doing another review of an instant ramen I got. Um, this is the Unif Bowl Instant Noodle Artificial Roasted Beef Flavor. So I think I saw another video on YouTube of somebody else trying this one. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but I'm excited about it because it's roasted beef. Never tried that before. I've just tried the chicken, the American chicken, shrimp, and oriental flavor ramen. So let's open it right up so we can see what it looks like. This is originally made in, where is it? Let me just say that. In Gong, Guangzhou. I think that's in China. I'm probably wrong, so don't quote me on that. Let's see, it's always hard to get these things open. Let's see, there we go. I got it. top is shiny and you can it looks very well made that's what it is roasted beef flavor and it looks like it has some like bok choy in it on the picture I think that's bok choy I'm probably just making stuff up so basically to eat this you just put the water in there and the seasonings and the sauce packet so let's see ooh they even give you a little fork that's cool. And then I think this is the, what is this? I don't know what this is. This is the sauce packet, I think. There we go, the sauce packet. It's a little mushy though. And it might be, oh, I heard, I did hear how they put oil in these things too. So that might be it right there. Oh, but that's the oil right there. And then a bunch of stuff here just said the season and sauce who knows okay so i'm guessing this is the seasoning it's not an english anything on there so i can't i don't know what it says so i'm guessing that's the seasoning and then some vegetables some dehydrated vegetables hmm, i've never seen vegetables like that well in mom i've never seen vegetables like that in mom so there we go and then let's see if i can take it out I don't want to break it up. No, it's in there pretty good, but that's what it looks like right there. So I have my water boiler, so I'm just going to put the stuff in there and then let it sit for about three minutes with the lid closed. But I am going to open it and show you what it looks like before yeah, what it looks like. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm watching the stove over there and then trying to do this video. So I'm guessing this is the sauce packet. It's really nasty. It's like literally jelly. I'm guessing this is oil though, because this is how oil is when it's like cools off. So let's see. Oh gosh. smells really it smells like beef to be spot well it is roasted beef so it smells like beef that's what it looks like i don't know if it's going to focus on that Let's see. nope but that's what it looks like yeah this is the oil i did hear i did put oil in there it smells like oil and i do smell the beef in there yeah there's like little chunks in there too so let's see I'm gonna put this in there. It looks like, yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing when I put the water in there, it's gonna dissolve that and mellow it out. So it's not as clumpy as that. So, and it's all over your hands. So when you get this, have a paper towel handy. I don't, so, but I'm the only person eating, so I don't care. So this is the seasoning right there. Oh. It got everywhere, sorry. Ooh. I'm pretty like all of instant ramen I've had before they like the seasoning packet always smells the same and it looks the same too to be honest so I wouldn't be like they all smell the same so that's one thing that's never different I've noticed alright alright oh okay sorry 
Alright, so that's what it looks like. And I get guess I'm put the vegetables there the, in there. I didn't know it came with vegetables, but now, and I like how they give you a little fork too. I guess you're supposed to eat this fork, so I don't know. But I have my chocolate just in case. I'm probably gonna eat it with forks so if it came with it. Because it's easier for me because I'm still learning how to use chopstick. And there we go. Alright, so here's what it looks like right there. It doesn't look so appealing right now, but I'm guessing when I put the water in there, I did get some of the oil in there. So that's oil. Not anything nasty. So I'm guessing this is gonna like mix and dissolve and stuff when I put water in there. So I do have water boiling right now, so just give me sorry back up some. So give me just like three four minutes. So I gotta let this sit for four minutes, three minutes. Sorry. I'm yeah. Okay. So there we go. Alrighty, I'll be right back in four, five, whatever minutes. Alright, so I'm back. I put boiling water here. I let it sit for three minutes. And I let it sit for like two extra minutes because it's really hot. You can see the steam come off of it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. But this one looks like it's very thin ramen. I've never experienced it where it was that thin. And they do give you a fork to eat it with, so I'm kind of grateful for that. And the, um, let's see. I can try to tilt it down so you can see what it looks like. Sorry. That's what it kind of looks like, sorry. That's what it kind of looks like after all the, um, after the sauce and the seasoning and stuff melt down. I do like how, well, I don't really, well, I do like it because I like unhealthy food. Like, ramen is supposed to be unhealthy. And I like how they have, like, a, a coat of oil on top of it, which I really like. And it makes it. Yeah, I think oil makes everything taste good. It's not healthy for you, but it does make it taste good. So I think I'm gonna try it right now. I'm gonna blow it because I don't want it to burn my tongue. Ooh, it does have a little kick to it. There's a little kick to it. I can feel it in the back of my throat. But it does taste, it doesn't really taste like beef. But it doesn't taste like the American beef. I don't know if this is how the American beef ramen. I don't know if this is how beef ramen is supposed to taste. Instant noodles, not ramen. But it does, it is really good. Yeah, it's spicy. The um vegetables did um dehydrate hydrate because it was dehydrated, so it hydrated. It did hydrate, so I can't really see. I think there was like a little bit of onions and like bok choy and some shies, and I do see some pepper, some like chili pepper flakes. So that's probably where the spice is coming from. But it, it is really good. I would recommend this like if you want like beef flavor. But you want to look spicy with it too, and you don't want the American kind. Or I'm, I'm kind of like I'm kind of thinking like maybe you could do that with the American flavor and then just put like chili peppers and like onions and stuff in that too. But this is what it looks like. <coughs> Ooh, it is really spicy. It catches up with the other second. But that's what it looks like. It's really good out of on a scale of one to ten. I don't really like beef flavor, but this is like really exotic and it tastes different from the beef flavor from America. So I'm guessing like maybe like a um like a six maybe like a six. Cause I don't want to go too high and then something blow me out of the water and then give everything a ten. So I'm giving like a six out of ten. It is really good. I I'm the noodles are really thin though. So. All right, well, that's everything for this video. That was a review of UNEF. I got the lid right here, UNEF roasted, instant noodle roasted beef flavor. And that's the picture right there. I do see that that does look spicy, so I didn't get where the spices come from. So that was my review of the UNEF instant noodle roasted beef flavor. Um, please com comment, like, share, and subscribe. My name is Leah B, and be sure to come back and check it out next week. Um, I will be posting a video of 
my aftermath of my wisdom tooth. I do have a wisdom tooth removal coming up. Well, it'll probably be before after this bar video will probably posted after my wisdom tooth, but go check out that video too, and go check out my other videos too if you would like to know my opinion on Nongshim Along Men Chicken Flavor Ramen and then the um Jada Mean Bapado. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe again. And bye.